Hey everybody, it's I, Dragon Zero. I'm back at it again with another quick time review. This time it's the Marvels. I would have done it last night, but I fell asleep because I was out like, going to um, the Thedium show. Um, but yeah, basically, um, this one's um, for the Marvels. So. Overall, I thought it was alright. It was not that bad as I thought it was going to be. It was way better than the first one. Um, uh, Miss Marvel, I'm on, um, whatever her name, Belani, whatever. She does a pretty good job. I actually enjoyed her in here. Um, Carol Danvers is a little bit flat. You kind of get to, like, you see stuff that happen, but it's never really explained. The villain was kind of crap. Um, there were a couple of things where I'm like, you know, cringing, you know. And, she, yeah, but, you know. Um, it's about Photon, though. She takes the fucking cake. She, like, she legit is also, like, the be like best character. And let's just say, at the end of the movie, she ends up in um, a different universe where um, we see the Beast. Uh, the Beast shows up, um, played by Frazier. So, yeah. And he looks good, too. They do the CGI really well. And he also named drops my boy, Professor X. Yeah. And she reunites with her version of her mom, but it's not her mom, you know? Like, yeah, a different universe and shit. They said they were going to be incursions, but there's no incursion, sadly. But, yeah, I it was kind of, like, shocking, but, you know. We haven't really had a lot of multiverse stuff with some um, Phase 5 of the Mar of Marvel. So, I don't know, like, to be honest with you, if I was, um, Kevin Feige, I would have pushed, um, the multiverse dog into either Phase 7 or Phase 8 even, you know, just so that people could, like, we could explain that shit, you know what I mean? It looks like we're still in the very early phases, you know? Phase 4 was for, like, the end game, what happened after, and then Phase 5 is, like, more, like, exploring it, and then, you know, they need to extend that shit to, like, Phase 7 or Phase 8 or something. But, overall, though, this was actually a pretty decent film. There were definitely some things that I needed to be explained. Some things that were cringe. Some things that were just, ugh. But, yeah, overall, I'd probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. I would wait for it to go on Disney+. Plus. So, um, yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's not that bad. It's better than expected, so... But yeah, anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Out.